Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Well, not so much in the studio, in my van. There's my Welsh flag behind me. There's Bert sitting next to me. There he is. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just I was just on my break actually because I, 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 I do a day job as well, not just paint the videos. And um, I was just going through some archive uh, footage and I'm thinking that would be nice if I could digitally remaster a video or two and um get that out to you um as a as a as an extra bonus during the week because i upload mondays at 7 30 greenwich mean time and always new lessons but i thought maybe maybe i can remaster one or two videos so without further ado let's join me not so much bert but me in the studio and let's see what i'm going to be painting or remastering today blue, a little bit of mars black and some ultramarine blue works really well it's a little bit thin there you go so that's quite a thin washer color across the sky like this i don't want it too thick at the moment now i've gessoed my canvas i've put a little bit of gesso on there with a little bit of burnt ember in there so that's going to show through as well that's just going to give me a little bit of tonal color that i'm looking for and I'm just following that line very roughly like this. So you can see it's quite a, a nice wishy-washy type of colour. And that's what I want. So you don't have to put acrylics on thick. This is what I'm trying to say to you today. We don't need to apply thick acrylics. So we'll get a bit of white before that dries. And then we're just going to add a little bit of white in. Just to lighten down the lower part of that sky letting that burned ember come through and blending that in like that so it's already a, it's a cold looking sky in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to just thicken up the top of that sky a little bit so i'm going to put in the paint on just a little bit thicker because i want a dark top of the sky like that now if you don't like the brush strokes what I suggest you do is get a very soft brush um, you've got mop brushes like that or you've got a makeup brush which is a female makeup brush which you can put makeup on um, I've got blending brushes as well um, which I sell at www.cly5art.co.uk unfortunately I don't see, I seem to have one <laughs> never mind it doesn't matter we'll use this makeup brush and I'm just going to very lightly very lightly just go across there and just basically get rid of some of them lines that we've got just to make it nice and soft so it's a blending brush which is quite good to soften up the the night sky like that there we go i'm just going to soak that into some water because it's important that we we keep that dry and clean so once you finish using it wash it out and then try and dry it with a hair dryer i'll show you in a minute what I mean but I haven't got time for that at the moment so I'm gonna got a toothbrush now and I'm going to go into a little bit of white and just a touch of blue there we are a little bit of white and touch of blue and then I'm just gonna to flick towards me like this flicking towards me and I'm gonna put some stars in the night sky Oh, very very lightly because we're going to put some snow in later on maybe some snow i don't know i haven't decided yet we could put some stars in the sky like that just show in there little heads through i'm going to soak that back in there and then i'm going to dry that with a hairdryer so going back into my big brush I'm going to get some of this ultramarine, pull some of that ultramarine blue down like that, get some white. Getting some white into that ultramarine blue like this. And I'm just going to put a bit of that in. 
and around on the base. Oh, it looks cold already. <laughs> looks cold already. There you go. Put a bit of that in. I'm going to touch get a touch of burnt umber. Just put in a bit of burnt umber just here and there like that. Because this is our base colour. This is the base. This is going to be snow. But we need to put a bit of colour in first. That's important when you do things like snow. You've got to put a base colour in. Otherwise... You can't paint white on white. That's one of the reasons I painted the the gesso on. And the other reason that I've put in a, a base colour down now is because I want the I want this colour to show through as you can see when I put white on there. I want the colour to show through as a base colour. Because white on white doesn't work. And if you're new to painting, then give it a go. And don't worry, don't worry about making mistakes, because a lot of the master painters made mistakes and they just carried on. And it's, painting is not about stress, very lightly, very lightly across like that. very lightly across like that. I'm going to put that soak my brush. Now you shouldn't really soak your brushes because um, you need to wash them straight away but I haven't got time for that today. So I'm going to get some burnt umber into this and we're going to put some lines in Straight down, like that. There's a few lines here and there. There we go. <laughs> It'll all make sense in a, a second. I'll tell you what I am looking for. I've got a fan brush here somewhere. Um, if I can't find my my fan brush, there it is. No, that's not it. So I've just got a couple of short flats that I'm using. So I'm getting a bit of burned ember, interest ultramarine blue colour. I'm basically. I'm just going to put a few Christmas tree shapes in a background like this. Can you see them? Maybe you can. Got a little bit of pearlescent tinting up there. Maybe I can use a little bit of pearlescent or something in these. I'm just switching over the size of brush. I'm getting a bit more blue into that, a bit more burnt ember, a touch of white. a massive tree shapes don't go thinking too much about it just get the uh, the sort of shapes that we're looking for we know we all know what trees look like and when we look at paintings in museums and things like that our eyes make detail and I've said this before our eyes make detail where there is no real detail and this is what this is where the the master painters knew this and they, they maximized on that. So we just put in some distant trees in. 
just like that. Can you see? How is it looking? It's looking quite distant at the moment. This is what we want. Now maybe this one can be a bit closer. And a little bit bigger. Let's get a little bit more paint mixed up. Could have a bit more snow on him. There you go. Just like that. Maybe this one a little bit more. And just play around with some colours. That's a little bit too blue. Just play around with some colours. Tippy top, 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 top. And don't stress about it. It's Christmas after all. We don't need to stress about things. We just need to sit back, relax and just enjoy the painting. Bringing a bit of snow in. Across there like that, just flicking the brush. Making those little drifts patterns that we get with snow. There like that. Here we go. Right. Let's put a bit more. light on these trees there like this. Maybe just one or two are catching some light. Got some stars in the sky. We've got nice Christmasy looking trees in fact if you wanted to. We could just add a little bit more snow. Just on a few. Distant trees like that. Bring in a little bit of light reflection in on a couple of these bits of snow drifts like this. So those trees are really distant. Those trees are really distant. We can get one of these little um, foliage brushes. And we can, let's just get a slightly contrasting color there's some maybe little bush things like trees and shrubs and things just to bring that forward a bit like that maybe maybe and a bit of snow on them as well That. 
so we're already developing a, a nice background there so we've got to think about old frosty the snowman so using the same colors let's put let's put frosty because we think of snowmen we think of balls of snow so let's not let's not forget that get a bit of shadow color it'll maybe a little bit of burnt umber because it's bound to have picked up a bit of soil as the children have been rolling the ball around, the snowball around. It's going to have a little bit of that earth colour on it. Because they normally do, don't they? If we think about, when we think about snowmen, that's what we think about. Um, we, snowmen and all, just don't, don't think about it just being white. So we're going to put another snowball. Because my snowmen are always built with three snowballs. It doesn't matter if it's not accurate, does it? Because snowballs are not perfectly round. Don't try and paint it all at one go. What we need to try and do is think. What we need to do is try and think of shape and form. Like everything else. We can put highlights on him in a minute. But for now, we're just getting the shape of the snowman there. And again... His head now, which is the most important bit. There he is. Let's just sit him back a little bit more. Let's make that let's a bit. I tell you, we'll make this one a little bit bigger. So play with, play with the shape before you start to overpaint him. So get the shape right. That's what we need to do is get the shape right. And then everything will work out. Don't go and paint him white straight away. That's not what you want to do. Get in um I'm gonna use one of these little long handled And this um sorry it's like a it's like a, um like a script liner but it's a very small type of script liner so we need to give him some sticks for arms so think of sticks maybe a branch like that and this other one can come from here thinking of branches how branches are because they're not perfect there you go <laughs> there we are so we can we, he's gay there isn't he already you know we can see him I want to I want to give him a nice scarf because we've been using a lot of blue so I, I want to put a I want to get a scarf in place already for him. There you go. Let's get this. Let's just establish a scarf sh size and shape. Put his scarf in like that. At this point, we just have fun. Just have fun creating. Don't want to put too much detail. 
because we're going to dry this off in a moment and give it another layer. I'm also thinking of giving him a hat, but I'm not too sure what colour. But I'm hoping my hat isn't in the way. I found my hat today. I lost it for a bit. I know it doesn't look anything at the moment, but we'll get there. We will get there. Shapes at the moment is all we're looking for. Shapes. So we're getting him. <laughs> We get there. Eh? Now, what I want to do is I want to dry that off with a hairdryer. Okay, so what I want to do now, before I do anything else, is I want to establish um, something here. Now, let me have a look. What can we do? Let's get a little bit of burned ember, maybe. Some burned ember and a little bit of white. And let's put a put a bit of almighty tree trunk, maybe. a bit of black in there as well. This is a big fir tree. It's there like that. <laughs> Just to give it a little bit of thing. Let's get a Let's, let's let's just get a little bit of ultramarine blue and a little bit of yellow. Cause now we want to put a little bit of green in. to bring it just a little bit of color I just want to bring a little bit of color into the front like that and maybe let's get a little bit of darker green now like that. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun today. So I'm going to get some snow. Actually I should have done the snow first I think. It doesn't matter. Get a bit of 
snow. Onto this snowman now. Onto Frosty. Frosty the snowman. He was a jolly happy chap. Do 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 See that blue coming through now, can't you? See what I mean with the blue? It just looks like shadows. We should put a bit of snow going up the tree, maybe. Get a bit of snow. On these bushes. I'll just bed them in then. Like that. It makes it look a little bit more festive if you put some snow in and some grass a little bit of green just to give it a little bit of color because it's, it's so cold and winter scenes can be devastatingly cold so we need to put color in and then just bring things together Lucy like this and if you've made a few mistakes like I have but don't worry just persevere the good thing is with acrylics, you can always paint over them, so it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So we've got a, a winter scene coming on, quite nice. It makes a lovely, for, makes a, for a lovely Christmas card um, type of painting. I didn't get my paintbrushes uh, organised today. So what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of shadow in around on his heart like this. Just using that blue. on the black just to give him a little bit of colour bringing in a bit of this white onto the brush now so we need to put a bit of highlight into his scarf maybe a bit on his hat, there could be a bit of snow catching on the brim of the hat like this because it's been snowing a little bit of snow just catching on the hat maybe and just getting some a white into his face a 
building up I picked up a bit of blue there like I said if you make a mistake don't go worrying don't panic just keep painting keep painting keep building up shape and form of a snowman and you'll get there eventually you will because we can't build a snowman quickly can we if you think about it It takes a long, long time to to build a snowman, and it takes a long time to paint the snowman, and that's the fun of painting away the stress of everyday life in Wales, especially with in the winter time, like we find ourselves in now. It's cold and wet. And it's very cold in the studio today because it's just cold generally, really. And just keep building. I'm building. I'm painting. I'm building. You can put as many layers or as few layers as you want to put on Santa. Uh, on Santa, it's not Santa. It's a snowman. <laughs> I was painting Santa last week. That's why I thought I'd paint the snowman this week. There you go. So, he's coming along. What we could do is we could give him some mittens. We could give him some mittens. There's his thumb on there. Just put a little bit of got a little bit of black on the on the brush. Bit of shadow under there, maybe just a few little dingly dangly bits. Back into the other one. Let's 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 put his mitten on his hand. It's going to look a little bit bigger because it's closer to us. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. There we are. Put a bit of snow. On the glove, because it's been snowing, and obviously the snow is caught bit of snow across the arm like that there you go <laughs> going back into um, a very fine detail brush now have I got one we need to do his eyes so let's start with A couple of eyebrows. There we go. Before we do anything else, let's get some red. Because we want to give him a carrot. For a nose. A little bit of black, maybe. Just underneath there, like that. This is mouth. These are all lumps of coal that the children have picked up. There you go. And we put a little bit of white just in the eye. So give him a little bit of character. We'll put a little bit of snow. 
just around his nose like that <laughs> and this yeah he's looking pretty good he's looking pretty good let's get some yellow a little bit of blue I want to make a nice bright green now if I can let's put some holly, holly the holly and the ivy on his heart like that and a couple of red little marks for berries and to finally finish this off we need just to put a bit more snow in like that nice and thick And there's a lot of techniques there that you can learn from and use in your paintings. You don't have to paint a snowman, just use the techniques that you've seen there. If you really wanted to, you could you could spray some more snow on that one. Um, I tell you what, I think I might try that. Let me just show you what I mean. Where did I put my toothbrush? There we go. So if we get get more snow, just on him and let's just go and just make it look as if it's snowing so we can turn the stars into snow that we put on originally and just make it look really snowy so if you like what you've seen today please 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 give me a thumbs up please let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bells because i upload every monday at 7 30 greenwich mean time but in the meantime <laughs> thank you very much for joining me in the studio today having a bit of fun with this christmas scene and frosty the snowman is another christmas card painting for you not many weeks now till christmas so have a happy new year and a merry christmas but I, there will be definitely another one next week i'm sure so um from me in south wales thank you very much for painting away this dress of everyday life stay safe wash your hands wear the mask and keep yourself really well for christmas bye, -bye.